I'm heading out. I'm heading out of Algonquin Park. I was on a trip with some students from Kenner. They're the high school students I take to college for a dual credit. And I was joining them for their trip. They, they, they do an annual trip every year in May. First week of May, ice just came out. Bugs aren't out yet. Awesome. <laughs> I was asked to be at a very important meeting tomorrow uh, morning. Uh, the government has decided to have the uh, canoe as part of the uh, celebration for 150 years of Canada next year. And they're meeting tomorrow and they've asked me to go to the meeting. Look at that. <laughs> oh my Lord. It's alive! <laughs> so, uh, I, you know, I didn't want to leave that trip, but uh, I, I should go to that meeting. <laughs> I'm going to go to that meeting tomorrow smelling of wood smoke. I'm not going to shower tonight. <laughs> 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 they motivated me so much for the meeting tomorrow. Yeah, no. <laughs> there are times and I know everybody out there has had those times where you really think the youth of today are not the same as when we were growing up. I was an irresponsible camper and I forgot my bowl. So what did you do? I put duct tape in my hat. Then you got moments like this. There's 17 kids out there and young adults out there and having a blast. They went from not knowing how to paddle, not knowing how to cook, not knowing how to put a tarp up to doing really well. First week in May. Uh, beautiful weather, bugs aren't out, but it's cold at night and stuff like that. It's cold. I know, you look cold, guys. It's freezing. I'm having a blast. Yeah. Not that God bad. bless the United States, States of America. We've been nipping <laughs> you dress for it. It's not bad. But. Having a great time, being very safe about it, very high energy, very, very motivated. And, uh, man, I'm ready for that meeting tomorrow. Uh, let, me, let me see your bowls. They're dollar store kids' hats. Mine's a dog. Yeah, Reading came on chicken. Not so bad. <laughs> I think I got the monkey. Yeah. Because here's the thing, like ideas. I, I've said it before, you know, again, don't take, take me the wrong way, but I don't get the Canadian flag at times. I love it, but I don't get the leaf on it. I, I think it should be the canoe and um, that's never going to happen. But what if we do it for one year? What if we do it for one celebration? Just make a, a, a flag with a Canadian uh, canoe on it and put a couple youth in it paddling. That whole idea of the canoe, the, the, uh, it's our icon. It, the United States had the chuck wagon, the horse. We had the canoe, that's how we made Canada. And we should celebrate that. So the canoe is our, our past, our present, and our future. It'd be so cool to get a Canadian flag with a canoe in it, with two young people paddling. It'd be amazing. That's all I got to say. <laughs> I'm speechless. Good times. Our future is bright. Long live the canoe. I get, need to stop looking at this pasta over here. Oh God, that I thought that was your vomit. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've tried to contain my vomit to logical areas that will not affect others. So you've got, you've got the flu. Yep. And then you have to stay in camp while everybody else goes out paddling. Yep. And then you gotta get better because you're the, you're the only female guide. The only female guide. supervisor. Yeah. So what are we gonna leave uh, for you in case something happens? Uh, walkie-talkie, obviously. Yeah. So, and, and your prayers. <laughs> mm, outhouse. Mm, uh, bombing an outhouse. Mm. Yeah, that was that's a new experience. I've never had that before.